Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about the multivariate gauge. But before starting the understanding about the multivariate gauge, let's understand what do you mean by the term multivariate in time series. As we all know that time is very important. And this can be the reason that you might have observed that there is an increase and decrease in the stock market. Or sometimes if you are going to the market, you will observe that there is a sale in stores, maybe in the physical stores or maybe in the e-commerce platform, maybe your mantra, maybe your Amazon. So maybe in any store. And you will observe there is a change in the sale, there is a change in the sale during the festival season. Now, if we talk about that there is a change during the festival season or there is a change in the increase and decrease in the stock market, have you ever think how do these businessmen or these uh, brokers who are dealing in share market knows what is the best time to announce the sale or what is the best time to purchase these stocks? So the answer is that these businessmen and these investors who are going to invest in the stock market do data analysis and understand the demand for the stock or demand for the product from the previous years. Till now we have learned about the univariate analysis where uni means one that is we study how to forecast the volatility of a single variable with the help of arch and gauge model. And we have studied that there are different kinds of gauge model, such as your standard gauge, your exponential gauge, your GJR gauge, etc. But if we talk about the real world, there is not only one variable. There are various variables which affect each other. For example, in univariate analysis, we learned that today's value depends upon time. That is, it depends either on its own lag or maybe the lag of the error term. And with the help of the previous lag, we can predict the future price or we can say we can predict the future volatility. As we have learned in the standard gauge or exponential gauge or GGR gauge. Let's take an example over here. For example, if we talk about the temperature in univariate analysis, we can say that temperature in today's state is dependent on the previous lag. That is, it is dependent on the time. If we have to predict the future value, we will see its past value and try to gauge and extract the pattern from the previous values. But a multivariate time series has more than one time dependent variables. For example, if we take the same example of temperature that we took in univariate analysis, then temperature does not only depends on its past value, but also depends on other variables such as precipitation percent, dew point. You can say it also depends on wind speed or you can say cloud cover percentage or distance from sea or you can say surface covering the land or presence of ocean current or maybe there can be various other reasons also. So we can say that uh, there are multiple variables on which the temperature depends. So when one univariate time analysis has impact on other univariate time analysis, then it is known as multivariate analysis. Now let's talk about multivariate gauge. Now if we talk about multivariate gauge, it has been observed that in finance or economics, volatility, which also known as risk, move together over time across assets and market. That is volatility risk of one univariate time analysis, or you can say time series, can have impact on another univariate time series. For example, volatility in exchange rate can affect the returns in the stock market. Or we can say if there is a change in the returns of one stock market, it can affect the other stock markets also. For example, if we talk about the subprime mortgage, that means there was US crisis in 2007-8. So 
so when the us market is down we can say that that change has also affected the other markets in the world or we can say that if there is a volatility in the foreign exchange that can affect the stock market of that country also or that can affect the stock market of other countries that means we can say volatility of one company can affect the volatility of company b or volatility of stock market of one country can affect the volatility of another company this is also known as spillover effect hence multivariate gauge model is studied to know the relationship between volatilities and covolatilities of several univariate variables or you can say several univariate markets now what do you mean by volatility as we all know that volatility means state of being unpredictable that means we can say that in finance if we talk about finance we can say that uncertainty about future price of a commodity or it can be share or any other financial instrument that means when we are not aware what will be the next price or what return we are going to get in a stock market so we can name it as that the stock market is volatile or there is a variance now in multivariate analysis what we are learning we are learning the change in the one market whether that change in the one market is going to affect the change in another market so that's why we are saying we are learning about volatility and covolatility covolatility means related volatility of two or more financial instruments whether the volatility of two market moves in the same direction or volatility of one market is affecting the volatility of other market or we can also say that multivariate gauge allows the conditional on past history covariance matrix of the dependent variable that means covariance means over here is a relationship between variance of two markets if there is a positive covariance we can say that the asset returns or that means returns on the stock moves together but if there is a negative covariance it means that the returns move inversely so we can say that covariance is a significant tool which is used to ascertain what securities are to be put in a portfolio as we all know that risk and what volatility can be reduced in a portfolio by pairing the securities that have negative covariance that means if i can say that the stock a prices increases and the prices of stock b decreases then i can say that there is a negative covariance which means that if one stock will have loss then the other stock will be in profit which results in the trade off between the profit and loss so there will be the diversification opportunity for the investors so multivariate gauge model is studied to know the relationship between volatilities and covolatilities of the several market but whenever we are talking about the covolatilities or we are talking about the covariance you have to remember that covariance only tells the relationship between the two securities that is whether there is a positive relationship or there is a negative relationship but it does not tell you about the degree of relationship now let's see what is the motivation behind studying the multivariate gauge model since we have learned the univariate gauge model in the previous video so now let's see why we are learning about the multivariate gauge model so the first reason is that the volatility of financial instruments may be interrelated that we have just talked that whether there is a positive relationship positive covariance is there that means both the stock market returns of two different markets or you can say two different countries are moving in the same direction or if there is a negative covariance they are moving in the opposite direction that means they may be interrelated with each other or i can say that portfolio allocation decisions are influenced by the degree of covariation of stock prices or volatility following a shock as we have just discussed that uh, when there is a covariance can be positive or that the covariance can be negative and if there is a negative covariance that means that there is a diversification opportunity suppose you have 
two companies shares company a and company b and we are saying that there is a negative covariance between company a and company b which means that company a if company a is in a profit then company b will be in a loss that means if i have invested my money in such a portfolio where the both the companies have a negative covariance then i can say that my net result will be same that means the profit and loss will be trade off suppose there is a positive covariance that means if the company is having one company is having loss and other company is also having loss which means that if my portfolio consists of both the companies who are in a loss that means my money is lost i have lost my money so that is not a good portfolio so this studying of multivariate gauge will also help you in the portfolio allocation decisions now it can also be used to measure the spillover effect that we have just discussed that it can be possible that impact of one uh, effect of one country can impact the effect on the other companies now let's see why we are studying all these things so what are the different questions which can be answered while studying the multivariate karch model so the first is is volatility of one market affects the volatility of other market or is the volatility of an asset transmitted to another asset directly or indirectly or we can say does shocks on one market increases the volatility of another market and by how much is the impact of positive and negative news is same in different markets and of same magnitude or is the impact of correlation between asset return change over time are the asset returns higher during the periods of higher volatility so these are the different questions for which we can get the answers if we are going to study the multivariate karch models now let's see what are the different kinds of multivariate karch model so the first type of multivariate gauge model is constant conditional correlation gauge model which is commonly known as ccc gauge second is dynamic conditional correlation gauge model which is also known as dcc gauge third is varying conditional correlation gauge model which is also known as vcc gauge and fourth is baba engel kraft croner gauge model which is also known as bekk gauge so these are the different kinds of multivariate karch model and we are going to study these karch models with the help of r studio how we are going to uh, how we are going to create a model in the multivariate karch model hope you have understood what do you mean by multivariate karch model thank you